Okay, so now let's um, talk about amplitude modulation. So amplitude modulation. So the amplitude modulation I'm going through, especially the MATLAB part or the octave part, quite slowly, just to explain all different kinds of basic concepts here. So what's the, the mathematical description of that? Um, let's first do a, a bit larger plot here, how this looks like, so amplitude modulation. So let's say we would like to transmit this information here, just a sine wave, which is obviously in Digicom is probably not happening like this, but just for, ins for instructional purposes. So here that's our signal. And then I just draw the same wave upside down underneath here and and then we've got the carrier the carrier is just change in amplitude here yeah so here we've got a high amplitude and there we've got a low amplitude so very simple and um, so the mathematical description of that is obviously straightforward so if we think of am of t and um, so we just take our carrier. That's the first thing in communications. And usually the carrier is denoted by, by the cosine. And we spare the sign for later on, for the reasons I'm explaining later. But let's stick here with the cosine. So that's our carrier. So that's these oscillations here. Um, and so now we just need to amplitude modulate this carrier with our symbols. Yeah, so this is our base amplitude. That's cosine multiplied by one. And then we've got here the S of T. So that's our our symbol. And let's just assume it's running maximum from minus one to to plus to plus one. And um, so that this, in the worst case here, um, cancels this out here, so that we don't get, get any negative values here. And then we multiply this here with a factor alpha. Yeah, and, um, and this one is here called the modulation index that's running from zero to one. Yeah, so obviously the higher this here is, the um, stronger the modulation. So modu modulation index. Well, let's write this out here. It probably still fits on the slide here. The modulation index. So this runs from 0 to 1. Obviously 1 is the strongest one and this would dip here to 0. Um, if the alpha is is going, going to 0 here then this will, will be obviously very very small, the amplitude. So that's the idea um, of the amplitude modulation. Um, and so, and so, how how do we do this in a digital system? So um, this obviously is just now an analog system. So how do we do this as a digital stream? Obviously, this one here will be will be symbol, so there will be some uh, more like square wave um, if we have something like zeros and ones or something like that. Um, okay, so so let's um, now slowly build this up in MATLAB. 